Hey, people should be able to hear us and see us now. Unfortunately, uh, Oak uh, is going to have to sit out on this one. Some family stuff going on, so we will <coughs> miss our uh, fiber in this episode. But uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this started. We are playing first edition Dungeons and Dragons, running through the Temple of Elemental Evil, the classic version of this. Uh, Goodman just released the uh, the reissue, and there's some good stuff in there, but we are playing the classic. And our players tonight, Richard, who are you playing? Hello there, hopefully you can see me. I am Richard, and I am playing Tristan, the Renumeration Redistribution Specialist, who is level 9 now. Ooh. Yes, yes, level 9. Hmm, this will be fun. Uh, Frendon, back again. Hi, I'm like the fungus that Gronwolf carries around in his vials. You can't get rid of me, Bert. Uh, I'm playing Gronwolf, a level 7 magic user, level 3 cleric. Uh, he is uh, 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 an elf, chaotic neutral, and serves a neutral dark uh, lady as his deity. And he is really squishy so we'll see how temple of elemental evil goes <laughs> here they have shots for that now though so we'll, we'll see <laughs> oh. we'll see okay uh good. dion yes hello i am dion back from my spiritual journey in the desert of california and tonight i'm playing patty arquette who is a level five barbarian though his level may be small he is mighty Mighty indeed, and uh, bringing up our last player for the night, Jeff. Hey, uh, I'm running Talina, who is a second level uh, fighter and a third level druid, and she really is the baby of the party. That's me. All right, all right. So, last game, uh, you were hired by uh, Bruce and his party to help find. Uh, a, a temple, uh, a ruin, suspiciously similar in description to what you yourselves were coming this way to find. And um, it was not completely unoccupied as one of the outer towers that was mostly still intact held a troop of uh, well-trained mercenaries. They weren't wearing any particular tabard or had any particular uh, way to find out who they were working for. Just the... They seem to have some very uh, uh, military tactics involved with them, but you made fairly short work of them. And uh, we ended last time with a party split. Uh, some of you had gone through uh, the escape passage that they were trying to get through before you cut them all down. And that ended in a fair distance away from the ruins, in the middle of the wood line coming out near a shack uh, and a barn that had several horses that had been well cared for and uh, ready to uh, be gone at a moment's notice, it seems. No one was there. Uh, well, no one's actually taken a look inside the dwelling yet, so let's not say there's not anyone there. <laughs> the other party, or the other part of the party, uh, was ransacking the tower that these... Uh, carefully searching. Carefully, carefully searching. Carefully searching. Because Bruce was not so careful, decided to bash open a chest and got a poison needle to the knee, uh, which killed him. <laughs> yes. Uh, mercenary leader off the chalkboard. All gone. But we ended with uh, we ended with Tristan checking out or having found a ring that centered uh, behind a small sliding section of floor. Uh, just kind of set in the floor, a big brass ring. I think uh, we ended there. So let's see. We ended with the others at the other end of the tunnel. Yeah, the you guys split. Uh, the party split. Yeah. Yep. So uh -huh. Tristan was here with the, the room with the ring and the dead Bruce. Uh, Talina, did you go out through the secret tunnel that ended up in the forest? Or you did? Yeah, okay. I was with the forest team. <laughs> and Frendon, which part of the party were you with? I was on the inside in front of the tower near the door because I right. shrunk the door down and then Oak charged in. Yeah, so you're, you're still there with uh, Tristan then. So I guess, Dion, it's up to you where your character went. So you're either still here Apollo. in the ruins or you're out in the forest. 
I follow Talina. Okay, so you're out in the forest. I don't as well. want her to go alone. Okay. Um, sounds good. You seem to have this unhealthy attraction to uh, lethal female party members. Uh, I, yes. Yes. Druids on top of it, yeah, too. Druids, particularly. Listen, I love a strong, independent woman. All right? <laughs> What's wrong with that? You know, Patty just leans in and says, Show me your magics. <laughs> Show, me your magics. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your plant growth. What? Well, let's, uh, let's pick up with uh, Richard and his character Tristan then. So you have this. This ring that's set into one of the flagstones on the floor that you were able to find. We're not talking about a wear on your finger ring. No, 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 no. We're talking about a a, sort of a knocker. Yeah, yeah. It's a fairly large (sighs) bronze ring set into the floor. Um, Hey, drone wolf. I found a thing. Yeah. Ignore that dead body. (laughs) That's just Bruce. Uh, I do see several loose uh, hands in the vicinity from the goblins' work. Is that the thing you're referring to? Uh, what are we looking at yet? Oh, it looks like there's a, a secret underground basement or something underneath oh. this ring that we could pull up. So I immediately, see. I thought of you to help me pull up this heavy flagstone. I and mean... I- I'm a very capable warrior. I understand. I shot someone with a crossbow once. I don't know if you caught that. Uh, not, not if you shot them. No, I did I not catch there. the bolt. I was well, there. I mean, technically, I took a shot. I, I think it landed. They did die. I think I did it. But yeah, I can did, help did you. Did they die immediately, or was it of old age at some later stage? I mean, if we're parsing words, I mean, they might have been the fireball that got them, but they did die. Yeah, well done. <laughs> the end result's all that matters, really. <laughs> yeah, and with the fireball, well done is pretty much the only way that they die. So, uh, I will I will assist you with this, but first, and I haven't used it yet, so I don't need to cheese this. He says, but uh, I'm going to detect magic and see if there's anything uh, kind of looking down that way. Okay, uh, you cast detect magic. Um, no. Uh, there is nothing magical that your spell can see in the area. Okay, like that room in the little... Okay, okay. Well, I don't see any of that afoot, but you're the one with the springs and the needles and the poisons and things. Do you want to check it for that before we go heave-ho this thing and kill ourselves? Sounds good. And if there's not any, I can add some. (laughs) Ooh! (laughs) I like trinkets. Uh, Yeah, so... Just look it over, see if there are any exciting traps or anything on there. Yeah, go ahead and roll uh, them. Uh, yeah, what's that? Oh, a success. Okay. Um, well, you don't see any trap. Uh, well, what you see is kind of passingly odd. There's this bronze ring. It goes through uh, a bit of stone, but you can see that there's a bit of wire going down through the stone as well that's attached to the brass ring. Uh, metal mm. wire, particularly. Mm. Oh. Do you want to call the rust monster over? It could just eat the wire and, you know, disarm it and we oh, could stand back. I don't back. know if it's with us or with Talina. It would be with Talina, I, I believe. Be. Yeah, I did give it yeah. back to Talina after the battle, yeah. <clears throat> well, we can just stand here and contemplate life until they get back with the rust monster, if that's what you want to do. I mean, I've it's never disarmed a, a trap idea. before. It sounds kind of fun, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and I start to reach for it, looking at you like expecting you to stop me. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Please I will stop you. Yeah. Damn I mean, it. I thought about it hard, but, you know. I knew you loved me, yeah. I say. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't know uh, so much that it's a trap, but it's definitely some kind of mechanism. Uh, like, you don't see anywhere where, like, needles will fire out or anything like that. But, you know, uh, there's maybe definitely it's a metal early... wire that attaches it to something below. Maybe there's an early warning system. Maybe there's a bell or something at the other end of this. Yeah, Maybe... but hide it underneath a flagstone. It's not really very, you know, convenient to get at. So I don't know. Maybe it does open a secret door somewhere here. Ah, you know what? Let's just pull it and see what happens. Eh. Oh, that's usually what I do when I offer people my finger. Okay. Uh, well, you reach down, you pull it up, and uh, actually the section of flagstone kind of pivots that it's attached to and it's 
basically a trap door going down. You see the bit of wire that runs from the bottom of the, the ring down through the middle of the piece of stone and connects to a ladder. You notice, again, kind of interestingly, the ladder is made of bronze, too. And it leads down into a room, you know, maybe a 10 by 15 uh, room below. You see there's a couple of shelves down there, a couple of boxes on the shelves. It doesn't look like there's any entrances or exits other than this hatch. Well, I mean, I'm thinking maybe, I mean, why was all this made of metal? Unless they had lots and lots of metal or it conducted lightning. Yeah, that's my instant thought. I'm still thinking, you know, we have something that needs metal to survive and there's a whole lot here. Maybe I we take a sojourn out into the woods and just send Rusty down. Yeah, but then it will eat the ladder and then how do we get down? Or back Ropes. up again? Ropes. Ah. I'm, I'm the thinker. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. about a 10 foot drop into the room below. Meh. <laughs> I jumped down the hole. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at with this too then. <laughs> sure. Um, you drop down and there's a couple of shelves here lined with uh, a couple of bags, a couple of boxes. There's a folded up cloak uh, that's still on the shelf. Uh, Grown Wolf, I'm going to say since you cast that spell, it has a duration. Uh, you can see that some of the things on the shelves are magical. Okay. And just like, you know, just peering down from where you are. You're an elf, so you can see, you know, in dark... Um, yeah, there is a lantern down here as well, Tristan. Oh, good, because now I can see. Yeah, if you light it up and <laughs> you look around. Yeah. Yeah, there's a small, a couple of small boxes. Uh, one of them, the lid's open, and you can see there's some jewels in there. There's like a jeweled necklace. Uh, some hmm. of the boxes just contain silver, gold. Um, the cloak uh, that's here, there's a cloak hanging on a peg, and there's one that's just folded up on the shelf. Um, both of them seem to be a very fine make. There's a large pouch with a leather strap on the sh for the shoulder sling. There's a longbow uh, with a quiver of arrows. And then there's a large bronze coffer as well. Uh, there's also a locked iron box on the bottom shelf. Looks to be fairly heavy as the shelf is bowing in the middle a little bit. Uh, there's a big metal thing that has a lock, which I know you're into. I'm going to fidget with some things which are detecting as magical. Yep. Oh. Uh, the things that uh, look magical to you. So do you drop down as well then? Yeah, as soon as you said it was 10 foot, that was my inclination too. Not a problem. So the cloak is magical. The longbow is not, but the arrows in the quiver are. Mm. And let's see, I think you can see through a certain number of feet of stone. Um, yeah. So let me see what else might be magical. The The large bronze coffer has some a uh, few things in it that are magical. Okay. Uh, it's I, uh, closed I, with a lock on it as well. Okay, I tell Tristan that as well, that there's uh, some spidey sense going off about the stuff in the lockbox. Oh, okay. And I don't think Detect Magic really tells me anything other than it's magic. Right. So I, 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 for now, I'll put the arrows on my back because I know that I've got some people what can shoot arrows. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what was the other thing you said? The cloak, right? Yeah, the cloak. Uh, I put the cloak on. I'm a tinkerer. I, I throw the cloak on and see what happens. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a cloak of elven kind. You're kind. You, you you've seen these before. Okay. I'll have to look up exactly what it does, but <clears throat> it's basically a finally made elven cloak. Okay. It makes you look more like an elf. <laughs> Even more than you. <laughs> yeah. It, it it offsets the goblin pallor that I've accumulated over the course of our adventuring. Uh, the small flat box has got the jewelry in it. None of that's magical, but it looks to be of you know fair value. Uh, we're going to switch gears for a minute. We're going to go out into the forest with Patty and Talina. Uh, uh, Oak is out there as well, uh, but he is now becoming an NPC and just kind of standing around. So you guys went down this, uh, this bolt hole of a tunnel, and it came out next to a small hut in the middle of the deep woods. Uh, there is a barn here that has several horses uh, saddles are nearby. The horses seem to be well fed and well groomed and cared for. There are no lights on inside of the small hut that's uh, next to this barn. 
six Ooh, horses, uh, by the way. So Talina will check out the horse flesh. Yeah. Are they recognizable, any of them? Uh, what do you mean by recognizable? Well, basically what I'm looking for to see if that guy who was following us, who was one of the bakers. Ah, gotcha. No, um, they are uh, they're light horses. Uh, they seem to be well cared for. Uh, they do not look like the same breed that the man following you had with him. Okay. So it wasn't the chestnut gelding. Okay. Nope. <clears throat> All right. Um, other than that, uh, I signaled to uh, Patty and I said, uh, the horses are fine. Let's check out this, uh, this dwelling here. I nod and I go up to the front door and I... Uh pull my foot back like I'm about to kick the door down mm -hmm. and then I just gently knock on it <clears throat> uh, when you do so it's not locked or bolted so your knock actually the, the door ajars a little bit uh, you can see it's dark inside there's no candles lit is it nighttime right now it is near it's dusk it's not night yet I kind of poke my head in and go hello right, yeah there's no response Nobody's home. We should leave. No, we need to go look for intel. See what we can find out. Who's intel? Papers. Papers with writing. Papers and oh, books. And books. Maps and okay. All that good stuff. Okay. I go and I start looking for any type of book. It doesn't matter if it's useful or not. Just paper. Yeah. Uh, you open the door and this looks like it's a, a like a hunter's shack. Um, the barn is actually far more impressive than this, this kind of lean to, it has a, a brick fireplace that, uh, has been set up to cook meals. There's a iron pot, uh, that's cooled to the touch. Hasn't been used in a while. There's ash in the fireplace. Uh, there's a few cots strung up, uh, from wall to wall. You know, there's like six, uh, six cots strung up here, but otherwise it's just, uh, it's just very little here. There's a few knives laying about. looks like somebody was in the middle of honing them on a stone. Uh, but otherwise, there's really nothing else here. A couple of torches uh, unlit, uh, but nothing personal. You don't see any papers around anywhere. Mm. Uh, check out the inside of the, the fireplace and uh, just, you know, look around very carefully. To, you know, make sure we uh, look at this all. It's sure. Um, you spend some time poking around. Uh, the only thing of interest is that papers were recently burned in the fireplace so like you see some charred wood but you also see some flake of uh, like vellum okay anything decipherable nothing with any print left on it just crumbles of the like edges of paper here and there okay. um okay then is there uh, only one floor yes it, this is a shack I mean, it's, okay. it's yeah, it's, it's not very impressive at all. The barn is actually in much better shape than the shack is. Uh, you can see where somebody made some attempt to patch the roof. Uh, there are a couple of buckets who are, you know, when rain falls through the roof, they're just collecting in buckets. Okay. Well, uh, we go back outside. And are the, are the horses saddled? There are saddles nearby. Uh, also in really good condition. Okay, but the horses themselves aren't saddled. Correct. Underneath the saddles, are there any identifications? Um, no, other than you're going to have some tool mark uh, from whatever whoever made the leather saddles. Uh, not one you recognize, but I mean, all the saddles are made by the same leathersmith. Military saddles or? Yes, right? yes. Uh, okay. They are made so that somebody could lance from the saddle, for instance. Okay. And, uh, all right. So yeah, before we leave though, she's going to go ahead and uh, take care of the horses as far as make sure they've got food and water. Yeah. There, there, uh, there's an oat trough and water nearby. It looks like, uh, they've been brushed fairly recently. They're in good shape. Okay. All right. Um, well, you know what? Why not? I'm going to go ahead and burn my speak with animals spell. <laughs> okay. And, uh, I'll, as I'm, you know, as I'm feeding them and brushing them and all of that. And, uh, 
I ask, uh, where are your writers? I introduce myself, of course, at first, and uh, I tell them I'm, I am Talina Amron, and uh, uh, I just came from the cave and I noticed uh, you uh, beautiful steeds. So I thought I would make sure that you're fed and watered. And if you want blankets, I can get you blankets for the night's coming. But uh, where are your tenders? Where are the folks that uh, you were with? Uh, so anyway. the horse is, uh, if, I mean, you can tell it's fairly well trained, uh, but it tells you that uh, it's, its minders come at, uh, at night and at dawn. So soon. Do they come from where we come from? or It didn't actually see where you came out of because they were in the okay. barn and you came out outside. Okay, I'll tell them what we came out of. Yeah, uh, yeah right. it'll, it'll kind of toss its head in a yes. Okay. And where, where do you usually range? Do you all come back here or do you... Do you go to a to a place with many horses? Um, I, I think that's a bit more than its intellect can handle, but it, it tells you that it could lead you to where it goes. Okay. Is it a long? Well, they don't tell time. Okay. So um, yeah, we just I asked them if they would like blankets for the night. Yep. Yep. Okay. So get them all set, and I tell them hopefully the uh the two legs will be back for you if not and if i can i will try to come back for you it uh, uh kind of nuzzles a sack on the barn wall <laughs> tells you there's treats in there it would like its treats <laughs> uh, be their treats yeah it's like uh apple cores and uh some carrots stuff like that yeah Okay, so just, you know, how many horses again? Six. Okay. So we got a quick escape, guys, if we, you know, if we need it. You know, that's good. Um, But who escapes from the temple? (laughs) All right, so flipping back. So you guys are in this, uh, it looks like it's a, you know, a treasure room, perhaps. Uh, Everything here seems to be of uh, value. Uh, so again, what you haven't opened is there's the, a large bronze coffer, which Gorn Wolf has said there's something magical inside, and then the the heavy locked iron box. It's on the bottom shelf that's kind of groaning a little. Mm. I uh, don't. I I just uh, again reiterate which one's the magical one. We've got the the other heavy one and. Meanwhile, I'm just kind of fidgeting with this cloak, trying to see if I feel any different. Yeah, uh, again, it is magical. Uh, it's cloak of elven kind. I just don't have my I don't have sure, my sure, sure. reference book open just yet. I'll, uh... Yeah, for 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 uh, in game logic, Grown Wolf is yep. just sussing it out. That's <clears> all. There's a mirror over there if you want to look at yourself in it. And see how it fits. <laughs> Makes you more elf like in dashing. It really accentuates your ears. <laughs> oh well let's have a look at this magical box of magicalness that you think is magical yep uh it's locked i attempt to check it for traps and then open it i guess oh right, yeah go ahead and give me a roll uh oh another success mm-hmm. wow. uh it does not appear to be trapped uh the lock looks Good. a bit intricate uh but the box itself is fairly like it it's not very strong. You could just pry the thing open and break the lock if you wanted to. It would devalue it, but easily open. I mean, I'd, I'd rather open it, try and check my skills against it, see if I can pick it open. I mm-hmm. mean, that would be far more fun. And yeah, that is definitely right. a success. Ted. Uh, yeah, you're able to open it with ease then. Uh, lock was not as complicated as you first thought it would be. Uh, inside... Uh, are several potion bottles. Five bottles, to be exact. Three look the same, and then two different ones. They handle any labels or anything? No. <laughs> oh. Check uh, for expiry dates. And then I think, oh, well, Grown Wolf's going to look yeah. at these anyway. So I don't think the expiry date matters. Grown Wolf so. can do a taste test to figure out what yeah. they are. Um, exactly. Assuming you want to, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so, always down to imbibe. There are three potions of speed, 
One potion huh. of extra healing and another potion of water breathing. You found one last time, too. Yeah, Tristan, so again, with the speed and the breathing underwater, I'm thinking these tunnels flood or something. Hmm. Makes sense. Or, you know, good observation. Yes. Or, or maybe uh, they just really like, I don't know, synchronized swimming at a high level or something. At speeds. <laughs> at speed, yeah. Well, uh, I guess we can gather them all up and... Oh, wait, there's this other heavy lockbox. Hmm. I wonder if it's filled with water and it will flood the place somehow through some magical means. Ah, well, let's open it and find out. <laughs> Okay, go over to the other lockbox and peer at it and open it. Okay. Uh, so are you going to check out for traps and then pick the lock again? Yes. Yeah, same. Uh, <clears throat> no, definitely no traps there. Oh, wow. I am rolling well, Doing to well tonight. Night. Yeah, it is just filled with gold and electrum. Yes, electrum. It, it is, yeah, it is just a strong box full of gold and electrum pieces. Why is it all here? Just to pay the people? Well, I think we're rich again. Right. Uh, just for your inventory purposes, Dion, it's 800 gold and 200 electrum. Uh, uh, where do I put that? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know. Whoever's keeping track of your inventory, that's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> since that's it. experience. Okay. <laughs> 800 gold and what did he say? 200 electrum. 200 electrum. And the last thing in this room is the uh, <laughs> the man purse, uh, basically a a, uh, a large pouch with an arm strap for it. Uh, it's a, it's filled with fifty tiny pearls, and the bag itself is really well made. Like a, an exceptional leather uh, worker created this thing. We didn't kill 50 people did we so no. that we've got you know one for each of them for some reason <laughs> uh groan wolf could probably parcel this out so pearls are a uh spell ingredient for uh, quite a few uh different spells out there mm -hmm. i say i turn to, to tristan and i say clam up those are mine and i take the pearls and i throw them in my satchel i'm like they're worth more to me than their value in the marketplace yeah they're roughly 10 gold a piece so that's another 500 gold piece worth of uh loot in the form of 50 pearls uh the bag itself is worth about 50 platinum oh wait i'm sorry there are there is also 50 platinum inside the bag in a small uh pouch oh, i i wow. I do turn to Tristan and say, though, if we need to sell them, we can sell them. I'm not greedy. I'm just trying to be practical. <laughs> yep. So this is a treasury uh, of sorts that was hidden down here. I'm envisioning the mage with uh, a cloak and a uh, beautiful bag and pearls. It's like the ma the mage wears Prada, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm quite glad that we didn't uh, send uh, old... Rusty, or whatever we're calling it, the rust monster down here, <laughs> before we got to look at it. Otherwise, who knows what would have happened. That's what right. Bronze? I don't think we do anything against bronze. Uh, it's still a metal. It would still eat it. Okay. Hmm. Well, there we go. We've got stuff. I mean, you can eat the ladder, I guess. Definitely. Um, I mean, there's not a bed or anything else down here, is there? There's this is just not, a storeroom. Yeah, just a so. storeroom. So Cloak of Elven yeah, Kind makes you on. basically invisible when you're in outdoor environments. Like heavy growth, you're almost 100% invisible. Uh, and it goes down depending on how much, uh, how little foliage is out there. So Richard is just permanently invisible. Oh, well, no. Grown Wolf grabbed that. Grown Wolf was here. Oh, okay. I was so like... me and Grown Wolf can go off on our own adventures that nobody will ever see. It's great. Uh, we can have our I, own spin off. I turn to Tristan as I go slightly or more invisible, however it would be in this environment, and I say, Oh, look, you're kind of stuck with me when it comes to scouting things now. I'm sure this really excites you to know that we're going to be bosom buddies. And I. Oh, my I, God. I mean, it's. It, <laughs> I can 
point in a direction and good. say, we'll go that way, and then walk off in the other direction while I'm invisible. <laughs> Those percentages are ridiculous. Yes. Yeah, that's Holy what the shit. Wild. Torch I mean, in lady. fairness, I stab people half the time now for the dark <laughs> lady, so this isn't thematically unsound. Yeah, even yeah, in great. light or brightly lit, it's a 50-50 shot, so yeah. that on top of mirror image, beautiful. Your mirror image is also invisible. Does it make them harder to be hit as well? Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, this it's is great. Cloak. No, fuck those mirror images. Much like the summon goblins, they can be full light. I'm going to be the shady boy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's where, uh, yeah, you just aren't seen, but all your mirror images are. That's <laughs> wow. Well, murdering 24 people has really paid off. Yes. Let's Who would have thunk it? Sometime. Murder pays so well. So yeah. well. Wow. They started it. Yep. Uh, but that's all that you see down here. Um, yep. I mean, so looking at the, the ring and the, the, well, the wire that came off of it, mm. does it lead anywhere? Well, the wire is attached to the ladder. Uh, it looks like when you pulled it up, uh, it it did something, it interacted in some way with the ladder. Does the, if I look at the ladder, does it look like the ladder folds up or something? I tell you what, make me another uh, trap check here. Yeah. Um, ooh, early, but yes. Okay. Uh, the wire pulled open uh, a metal tube that that's attached to the ladder um and if you get close to it you could actually feel kind of a humming coming from the uh the the the, the rungs of the ladder oh so it is lightning in a bottle or in a ladder in this case Bzz. yeah unless it's bees <laughs> I mean, it could be bees killer or electric bees <laughs> they're the best Oh, well, um, yeah, great. We found things. I've got to say those bees could come in handy. Murdered chat. Just murdered chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, um, can we lug? No. The gold electrum mix. Uh, we might as well leave it here for the. Yeah, the iron box is story. far too heavy yeah. to carry around. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, a convenient place to store stuff that nobody knows about. It's great. Who's got the bag? <laughs> oh, the bag of holding. Yes. You do have that's that. Yeah. 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 Who? Who we is chuck in the, of that? That's I have, I okay. have a yeah. bag of holding. Apparently. We yeah. chuck the entire hallway into the back of the hallway. <laughs> Bricks and mud and all. Honestly, uh, you could fit the entire iron box into the bag. It's not bigger than the hole, the, the opened bag. So you could just drop the whole thing in. Well, why not then? All right. Yep. Yep. Pulling it out would be hard. Do things fall <laughs> out of it? If you turn the bag upside down, yes, do things fall out of it, or yeah. do you have to reach in to get something? Well, you normally you reach in to get uh, whatever it is you're looking for, but if you turn a bag inside out, it immediately uh, drops everything that's in it. But not upside down, just inside out. Inside out, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I guess that's interesting and possibly a good way to suddenly well <laughs> if we were to fill it with water and then turn it inside out that would be a good way to yep. you know make use of our water potion they actually tell you Let's how much water that. it will hold uh, like there is <laughs> there's, someone apparently did that at some point that they made a rule for it <laughs> okay. early on no. all right well let's load it up into this bottomless bag and get out of this place mm -hmm. with our exciting new loot Yep. Yeah, I mean, no point to, to try to explore any of this further because it's a tunnel, right? Or, there, no, it's not a tunnel. It's just a room. A yeah. Oh, I'm confusing it with the tunnel that Oak found. Okay, okay, I was, okay. All right. Yeah. Then cool. Treasure uh, the, hole found. The arrows that you took are uh, there's nine of them. They're nine arrows plus one. The longbow here. It's a nice longbow, but it wasn't magical. 
Okay. So the the arrows I took, the bow I left, I think, because yeah. I have, yeah. All right. Um, so I, I popped that map on the screen there for a moment. Uh, actually, it's still there. And um, you've already explored every, all the other rooms that are there? Yeah, we don't see that map on Roll20. Oh. And all. Hmm, interesting. And... It's on the stream. I wonder why you guys can't see it. Let me try that again. Uh, show two can... players. Well, I've clicked show to players. I don't know why. I... <laughs> we have map 11. No, it's a handout uh, that should have opened. Yeah, if you look, we'd say it's the insert of the uh, What's tower the that we're called? in. What's that? It's not there in the list either oh. for some reason. I don't know. Huh. Um, If you... Uh, what is that? I think it's like Shift Z or something will make it forcefully show to people or something like that. I don't know. How well, no, it's just that. odd that it, the uh, the Zoom, uh, not the Zoom, the uh, OBS shows it, and I'm logged in there as a player, but you guys can't see it. That's really weird. Mm. Hmm. You're a GM, aren't you? I'm no, I, the, for the stream, showing I'm showing it oh, as a player. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see uh -huh. it. On, yeah, I see it on stream. Okay. All right. So it's a tower. Yeah, and so you guys have already. There's only two rooms in it. The stairs that go up end about midway because that's where the rest of the tower has collapsed. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing really else there to explore. Did, did the stream freeze? Or was uh, that just me? It? Yeah, we up. froze, certainly. Hmm. Oh, and now we're moving again. Well, who knows? Momentarily dropped. Excitement. Okay. All right. I was, like, looking at the tower, and I'm like, oh, none of us are moving. <laughs> oh, neither is any of our die rolls represented. Hmm. That is all Very, gone. Okay, it's yeah, back who now. Knows? Yep. So, you guys are... The tower is over here on the map. Um, and okay. this is the large temple area that's uh it's about 50 feet um from base to, to the crenellated top and a lot of that has been smashed uh but it looks to be largely intact which um was not what you were told or that you uh understood you heard you understood that the tower had been destroyed or uh, at least raised but it um it looks remarkably intact now, Talina and Patty, you guys aren't there yet. Uh, you scouted this place out. The horse told you it's expecting its masters by sundown, which is like, you know, an hour or two away. But you expect that those masters are the people that you've already taken care of. Uh, so what else do you guys want to do? Um, just I just want to do a quick, uh, maybe a four or five minute reconnaissance of the immediate area around. Okay. You yeah. are deep in the uh, woods, deep in the woods. Yeah. Um, you do see some paths that have been trail broke uh, just enough that you could get a horse down in single file line. Uh, that's been well trod. Uh, you've got navigation as a skill, right? Correct. Or, or survival, either one. So it is heading. It looks like the, the trail heads towards uh, Nolb, as which is the town you guys passed before coming this way. So we just go there and find out who didn't show up for dinner. <laughs> so uh, the city from where you are now is hours away. All right. So, yeah, I guess we'll head back. Okay. Unless, uh, back through the tunnel. Do you have any idea of anything you want to do? Find friends. And let's return to them. So you guys, let's just get everybody back together. So Patty and Talina eventually come back up the tunnel while you guys are chucking <laughs> coins and gold and platinum into the bag of holding. <laughs> uh, so party's back together. Uh, it, you're about an hour and a half or so until nightfall. And again, you guys are inside the ruin in the tower here. There is this overgrown hedge maze over here and the main building. There's also something over here 
it looks like it might have been a structure that was destroyed, raised to the ground, but there is like a depression. Uh, it looks like maybe a sinkhole underneath, or maybe it was, maybe there was an underground level that everything collapsed on top of. Um, but otherwise, that's that's it. That's the layout of the area. Again, the walls used to be quite high, but they've all been knocked uh, down to just a few feet. Okay, well, I give everybody everybody a full report of what happened out there, what we saw, what we did, what we what we could uh, make out. And uh, I mean, if we've got a defensible space out here, well, yes and no. Uh, seeing as your maid shrunk and destroyed the front door, uh, <laughs> you could block the door to the tower, yeah. but there's yeah. no door currently to the tower. I'll stand in the door. I will <laughs> become the door. I see Patty do that, and I say, that's adorable. Door. <laughs> door. <laughs> Negative rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> Deserved. Deserved. But otherwise, we do this. have the shelter with the horses. Mm. You could go back down that tunnel and uh, take that shelter, too, right? Until right. they come back and they're like, what are you doing yeah. in my swamp? And we're like, calm down, dude. <laughs> and then there, we kill them. There are, like, there's a long wooden table in the uh, entryway of the tower. I mean, you could just push that up against where the door was and, you know, pile some stuff behind it. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll just do well, the heavy lifting. Have- we have magic items, we have gold, we have platinum, we have conquered. <laughs> it's like, we got money, let's go. <laughs> uh, I, you say that and I say, you're right, there's nothing to yeah. see here. And I pull the cloak <laughs> over my head and go, <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go? Out. I'm out. Teach uh, me a magics. Uh, Talina, the only thing that uh, you were charged with is to make sure that the seals were still intact. That you haven't done. Yeah. Uh, I turn to I turn to Tristan and I say, well, I think we still have some cloak. And then I point to your dagger and daggering to do. Oh, oh. Mm. Marvel oh, reference. Yeah, Why are you pointing at my dagger? It's my short sword <laughs> that makes me invisible. I know, but I mean, thematically, I just wanted to call it a da- Okay, it was a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad joke and you should feel bad for making it. Here's the thing. You can't win on that level because I feel bad all the time. Uh Mostly from Damn. indigestion. Damn, sure. you're one step ahead of me. <laughs> As always, <laughs> goes invisible. That should be Grown Wolf's tagline. You can't poison me. I'm already poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> no one can possibly kill me as well as I've been slowly killing myself all my life. Valid. Same. Relatable. Uh, so, do you want to hole up or do you want to head back to Nolb? You, if you took those horses you might be able to make it back to Noel before uh complete dark yeah but then someone will have a vendetta and come looking for us seven sessions from now for stealing their horses um that's when grown wolf will finally die like yeah <laughs> conquer the temple of <laughs> elemental evil but like farmer what wants his steed back is puts an arrow through my heart um <laughs> Well, I'm not a big fan of a dim nulb, so I was kind of thinking we should uh, hole up here. What if we just pile 24 corpses in front of the door? (laughs) There is that. I mean, there are dead people, some of them burned, uh, just all over the place. (laughs) Yeah. So I'll do the table first, then a couple of other furniture, and then I'll pile the various bodies like on top of the furniture as well to weigh it down more. And... Pile the goblins. Yeah, oh, yeah. just pile it all. The up goblins there. are the mortar; they stick into the little holes that the big bodies make. You just yeah, and then when we want to get out, it's just a quick and easy fireball blow it the fuck up and run True. through the door through the if fire I have, like an action if, movie. If I have a nap, I could just blow the fuck out of that door. You're not wrong. <laughs> So I mean, if you want to take a nap, I can stay watch. Do we need a, do we need a nap? Uh, some of you are fairly injured. Oak's uh, character is definitely injured. Uh, before we nap, I'd heal Oak for a D8. I, I don't know exactly. Save, save uh, it more when he's back in stream next. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and cast it, mark it off, and we'll have him roll it. Uh, and then you're down several spells, and I think a few other of you guys got wounded as well. Yeah, and I can do first aid on people, and like I said, I'll keep watch because I'm not really hurting for anything. 
Well, if you're going to stay here for the night, uh, I mean, there's food. There's actually fresh food, bread, cheeses, uh, some meats. Uh, there's actually all the fixings for stew and fresh water, uh, as well as a fireplace and a cook pot. Places to sleep. There are bunks all over the place, so you can definitely do that. Are you guys going to set a watch? Uh, Patty has already said that mm -hmm. you'll take a watch, but staying up all night is probably not the best because then you're going to be at negs for all day yeah. tomorrow. I'll do first watch at least. I mean, I was also uninjured in that because I mm -hmm. didn't really participate as much as I could have done. So yeah, I can take a watch as well. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a, I'll take the mid mid watch, the night deep night watch. I turn to Scabby Tabby and I say, uh, "Do the watchy thing. I'm taking a nap." <laughs> Cat's already asleep. Cat's yeah. laying on a corpse. He just kind of used his claws to make a bloody mess in the metal. Yeah. He's just laying on. <laughs> I still say to the sleeping cat, uh, do the watch thing, I'm taking it out. <laughs> so uh, everyone heals 2 HP from my first aid before okay. we go to bed. All right. Uh, who, other than Oak, Get who else was, off. Who I'm else down was down injured? Uh, Talina, did you have damage? Yeah, I did. I took a little damage. It took about five points, I believe. All right. So uh, with about Patty's six. administration, each of you take two points back. And then if you sleep, okay. you'll get another point. Uh, plus okay. any con bonus that you might have. Okay. And I'm full. All right. So that I've night. Been spells. Getting spells, man. Three. So, Patty, you had first watch. Yeah. Right. So there is some scratching at the door <laughs> and some sniffing. Uh, it seems like the smell of the corpses have brought some wildlife out. Like, there's mm. a, it, the, the door or the. The table up against where the door was isn't like a perfect airtight seal, so you can kind of see. I mean, there's like uh, some there's some carrion scavengers have come out and they're smelling the corpses. They're scratching at the door, but nothing large. Are they making noises? They are making noises. Yeah, I'm gonna mimic the noises back at them <laughs> through the doorway to be like, you know, I'm here first because I can mimic. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to mimic the noises and be like, Rawr! I'd sound angrier. So I if, have... if Talina could speak to animals right now, what, what what she would be hearing is, yeah, I know there's food in there. <laughs> Why do you keep telling us there's foods in there? We know there's food in there. <laughs> I'm just going to keep mimicking them. <laughs> right. Um, other than that, the night guy goes by pretty uh, eventfully. I mean, there's a lot of scratching and thumping at that table, but there's enough that you've stacked up against it to keep anything from coming in. So okay. you have a good night's sleep or well enough. Uh, anybody down spells, you can go ahead and re-memorize, re-pray, uh, get what you need back. Okay. Make sure to take fireball if you need to. Make sure to take your cure right. spells. Make sure to take, you know, other good spells. So nobody had said that they put a watch on the tunnel or anything, but nothing comes up through the tunnel either. Oh, isn't that what a watch assumes? That you're looking <laughs> in multiple places? No? All right. But, uh, yeah, it's all quiet. Uh, it doesn't look like any reinforcements came uh, or any other people came up the, you know, the tunnel. Um, nothing. Nothing. So early that next morning, you tear up your barricade. You can see where animals had been scratching at the uh, table top. Other than that, it's uh. just how you left it. Nothing like moving a bunch of corpses in the morning to build up a healthy appetite for them. Yes. <laughs> They're just starting to smell. I'll do the heavy lifting. I'll yep. hoist it all for people. And uh, like I said, there is food stores here too, so you could have uh, had a quick meal. Nothing fancy. Bread, cheese, and meats. I love bread, cheese, and meats. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who What's doesn't? wrong with that? That's fancy <laughs> to me. This is better than the gruel I used to eat on the slave ship. <laughs> cheese what oh, just eating a brick of it just oh. just staring um, at everybody as you're eating this whole mouthful of cheese <laughs> I sample some cheese too because things have been a little too quiet on the cistern front for a while for drone wolf so. mm. alright so Talina uh, you were charged with uh, finding the condition of the temple Assuming this is the temple that they were asking about, uh, you were supposed to check on the seals to see if they had been breached or not. One thing, uh, now that there's more light in the, uh, the sky and you're able to get a better look at it in the daylight here, uh, you were led to believe as well that the temple was raised except for 
where the seals were placed. Uh, it looks largely intact. Some of the stonework has been bashed in. Some of the gargoyles uh, that surround the top have been destroyed. But for the most part, it looks completely intact. There are no window. Well, there are windows. The windows start about eight feet from the ground, and they're they're not very wide. They're they're maybe you know six to eight eight inches uh, wide, and maybe a foot tall here and there. The ones that are a little bit bigger have iron bars in them. Iron, you say? Mm -hmm. Hmm. And uh, just by the just looking it around, so like this back part here is uh, part of a tower, so you really can't see into it, but you can see where the steps. So the front entrance is towards the south, which means we go through the back. I can break a window. I can reach. Well, again, there's no glass in the windows, but the windows are very tiny. There's no way you can squeeze yourself into one. Unless we had a mage who could reduce it. There's that. <clears throat> we can put the cat through and scout. Just try the front door as well. I mean. Um, I'm, I do have the ability to kind of listen into things, and uh, I cast Clear Audience. Okay. Uh, on the other side. Well, uh, how? Where do you approach from? So you got. You need to get closer mm. if you're going to cast that. I believe. Uh, I think. I think it's weirdly not that bird. I think it's like anywhere you've ever seen or could see or have smelled. Let me double check. Let me double check. Um, at least in Osiric, which is what I cap copied it from. In fairness, uh, allows a caster eavesdrop magically upon any particular location. There is no effective limit to the spell's range, but the location must be. Familiar or obvious. So either I've been there okay. or I can see it. So you're not familiar with it, but you can see the walls. So like if you want to focus in on a wall and see what you can hear, you can do that. Um, all right. So you hear nothing. It's a vast amount of silence. Except for a group of spiders in the corner playing bridge. No. Oh. <laughs> if only, if only uh, Odette was here. Um, I um, I let everyone know I, I don't hear anything over there at all. It seems entirely safe and vacant, uh, which is concerning. Can you keep that thing on for a while, like clear let audience? Let me check. Duration one round per level, so I essentially have uh, seven right. rounds of it. Hold that thought. Over don't drop the spell yet. Yeah. I throw a rock in through a window. Okay, so again, there's no glass in the windows. Right. But if you throw a rock in, I mean, uh, you know, your aim's good enough. You sail a rock in. I mean, you hear it hit stone on the inside, but there's no, no reaction. No reaction. Okay. Okay. I just thought I'd, you know, if there was something that might get spooked, I'd spook it. Sure. But. Yeah. Should we go inside? I see no reason not to. I'll go first. And I'll just head to the front entrance. Okay. Uh, so I just like, I mean, this is 450 foot long, something like that. It's huge. Yep. So, I mean, just because there's nothing at the back doesn't mean there's nothing at the front. I might not have heard you throw a rock in. But, you know, I'm all for going round to the front and opening the door. That's no problem. I will fight, and I just Sounds have good. my maul ready. Let's go. Okay, so who's leading? Uh, so the steps, uh, so area one on the map here in the very front uh, is a raised area heading up to what you see is a, a grand door to the very front and two smaller doors to the side. Uh, who's is in the, the area, lead? Is I'll the lead. area cleaned off? No there's, no, there's a lot of debris. I mean, it doesn't look like anyone's been... I mean, you see some footprints around where the soldiers have kind of uh, kind of walked the area, but it's not a lot of traffic. And no, no one has taken any pains to keep the place clean. Okay. So who is in the lead uh, going up the steps? Okay, Patty. Um, so, Patty, you're approaching these huge bronze doors uh they Church. are 23 feet high the whole structure okay. is like 50 feet 20 feet wide 
They're oh. held fast by a huge, thick iron chain uh, bound through the loops of the door handles uh, and just interwoven with each other. It looks like they were uh, a blacksmith had uh, melted the ends. To, so there's no lock. It's just the chain is fused together over itself, bound several times. The door itself looks like there have been glyphs carved on it. And I want you to make me a save versus spell at a minus two. Uh, you can okay, just roll just, it and then we'll take two yeah. less. Boop. Okay, that's a fail. Minus two. You're going to take it? No. In okay. fact, I'm going to use a reroll. <laughs> we have 45 of them now yes after that, yes so. you do <clears throat> wow there we go okay. that's a 14 which is above 13 sure you approach the door <laughs> and uh, you notice the where the doors kind of join together and uh at, on the floor uh lead and iron have been melted to seal the entire door so like all the cracks are sealed with lead and iron and then you've got these massive chains that have been bound together and um, again these glyphs that are just carved into the door itself uh can i detect magic on the glyphs uh yes you can ask it to tell it tell you its secrets <laughs> teach me on magics uh let's see uh Oh, it'll just tell me if it's magical yeah, or yeah. not. Okay. Just make the rule. I was we'll... making sure. Uh, 28 out of... What's my percentile chance here? It is 45. So okay. Under. Uh, the hairs in the back of your neck raise. You get that feeling uh, you get when you're in the presence of uh, fairly strong magics. Mm. Take an involuntary step back. Yeah. Uh... So is it like something that's carved in the door? Yes, it, it like is a... not an original part of the door. It's almost okay. like it, the door has been defaced by whoever carved these runes into it. All right. So then I'm going to take my silver knife mm -hmm. and I'm going to like carve like a line like across it. Like I'm can't like, <laughs> like Ooh, a okay. good uh... X across the sigil. All right. I tell you what, um, because you kind of have a sense of magic. I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna have you make me a dex check. Okay. Uh, are these the seals we're supposed to I'm supposed to see are intact? Yeah, you're not in the lead though. Um, if you okay. want to yell out something when you see Patty pull out his knife and approach the door, you can. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, so I pass the dex check. Pass. Okay, so I rolled under. Patty, you get your knife blade and you just touch it to the door and you hear Talina yell out. What? Don't touch the door, the knife to the door. Don't break the seal. A the stop. seal must remain intact. Okay. Um, so what that roll was for is as the blade touches the door and before you're able to deface the figure, there's a spark. Um... You would normally have taken 15 points of damage as you're thrown from the door. Uh, you made it your save, though, so instead you're going to take seven points of damage as there's a, an arc okay. of power that uh, erupts from the door onto your blade, and your hand is numb, and you're thrown back a few steps. Oh, this is this is the seal you talked about? Yeah, no. Oh, we're not supposed to. Sorry, it's okay. He's not smart. <laughs> He's not smart. He's just like, I hate magic. <laughs> All right, so they see that the, uh, I tell the party that the magic on the seals is working. Like, I got magical energy from them mm -hmm. when they detected it. What are the rest uh. of you doing? So, Patty, you're up there at the front of the door. Tristan was not far behind. Uh, where are you, Tristan, and what are you doing? I mean, I was going around to the front with them as well, and I'm just keeping a lookout to see what's going on, really. Okay. And, All right. Good you enough. Know, we have seen. Uh, the other doors, there's one on each side, seem to be made of very heavy, thick wood, but they're not an ornate like this, and they're smaller. Like they're they're not more than like six feet tall, more standard size, but uh, very thick. And they also have had metal and lead melted and all the seams covered. 
but they don't have the the big ch thick chains. Does it look like they did have those chains? Hard to tell. You want to approach one? Yeah, I can take a look at one. Okay. Uh, no carvings on it, so no runes, and uh, the the door handles are not appropriately sized for a chain that big nor does it look like anyone attempted to uh, but it is all sealed off by having you know the hot metal and lead just kind of flow through all the cracks and edges oh well I mean I'm lo looking around at the floors or the raised bit that we're on here. Yeah. There's no footprints or anything leading up here at all. It is covered yeah. with just debris, uh, leaves, uh, dirt. You know, it's been, you know, just weather racked. You do, coming up this way, you did see some footprints like on the ground, like someone had pasted off. Uh, but it doesn't look like anyone has been up on these steps for quite some time. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we killed off the force that was guarding this from the evil people who wanted to build up the uh, temple again. I don't know. We did a thing. Something happened because of it. We can't be blamed. Talina, uh, so Patty's right there at the doors, almost like maybe broke the seals. So you're a bit behind. What did you want to do? Uh, well, the orders were to inspect the seals, Okay. right? Right. So that's what I'll do is I'll do a methodical inspection okay. of each of the seals. As you walk up the steps, do you approach the door just as you're able to make out the glyphs on the doors? Go ahead and make me a save versus spell uh, at a minus two. We have plenty of re-rolls, too. I didn't have this up. Let's mm -hmm. see. And then take two away from that. Make yeah, it even more. Fail. Are you going to keep the fail, will, or are you going to use uh, a reroll? I, I will try one more reroll. Sure. All right, we're at 44. Hmm. Also a fail. Um, okay, uh, something attracts your attention off to the left, and uh, approaching the door and approaching the seal just completely slips your mind. You turn and walk away from the door. <laughs> I, I see this, right? Yep. I see, okay. I say, you know, you, uh, what do you think you went over there for? Where? Oh, shit. And uh, I cast Shrink on the fucking door again, because this is apparently what I do with my life. <gasps> no, okay. oh, God. Uh, make a save versus spell. Okay. Do you think that's going to be a bad with the molten things? We'll see. I guess maybe Gromwolf <laughs> dies here, everyone. Um, seals. <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm doing it. Save versus spell. Uh, and what is the world. range of your spell? Uh, I will check that next. Yeah, that's actually very important. <laughs> I think I think it might be touch. Let me double check. Um, level, I think it's a level. Actually, one or did, two. did you make your save versus spell? Uh, I did. Actually, would you would you have made it at a minus two? No, I would have been on just on. <laughs> <minus two. laughs> okay, yeah. Let's find out what your range is. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a first level. Um, it is uh, five foot per level, so the seven times five is. So my you could definitely range. make out the glyphs, is what I was getting at. So are you going to take okay. the fail, or are you going to reroll? Hey, I'm going to reroll it. Is everybody cool with me spending a reroll on that? Of course. Sure. Okay. okay. All right. Let me go back up to the save versus spell. I'm scared. Oh uh, no, I fail. I fail again. So I thought. Uh, hey, it. you. You know, you forgot to feed your cat today. Um, it is like the most priority thing oh. that comes to mind, and you turn away from the door. I kind of notice both of these two approach and like yep. stop, and, and I'm they still just turn around and they by. walk away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna look at all of the seals closely and just yep. kind of like. 
Yeah, again, the hairs on the back of your head are just like standing up straight. You get all the warnings that it's very magical. All of them seem fine, though. Like, all of them keep giving me heebie-jeebie voodoo vibes. Yep. Yep. Just on all this right. door, if you look at the two side doors, there's nothing on them. There's nothing seems special about them at all, other than they've been completely sealed up. Um, oh, also, I... Tristan and Patty, since you're up close now, high up, high, high up, like a good 20, 30 feet, you do mm. see that there is some intact stained glass high up on the walls out here. Is it an image of something? Well, yeah, uh, the images are pretty profane and downright pornographic. <clears throat> oh? Uh, scenes of demons ravaging uh, folks of all types. Uh, oh. <laughs> mm. I mean, do you want to throw a stone? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's seal? Take a picture. Oh, I could be. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if we're just here to check that the seals are okay, then we should uh, check uh, other doors. I mean, there's nothing on this door on my side. I don't know about the other side. I'll check the other door just to be sure that there's like no, like ruined sigils or anything or damage on the door. It doesn't look the other like the side doors have ever had anything etched on them at all. It's uh, weird. Yeah. It's they're just sealed, these though. massive front doors that have it. But they're sealed. They on are the side sealed. Doors. They they have the molten metal yeah. that's been flowed into all the cracks. All right, well, well, it looks like it's fine. I was going to say, I think our job here is done. Yeah. I, I would say. I mean, I I go to Leah, to, to Lena. Uh... I, oh, think no. this, I think all the seals are good. I think we can leave. Uh, how long does mine last? Does the uh, effect last? Uh, no idea. It hasn't gone away yet. <laughs> you just have no desire to like walk up to the door. It, it's a, it's an, it's a, it's a very strong avoidance effect, uh, and you just, okay. whenever you try to go in that direction, your mind just goes elsewhere. Something else catches your interest. Okay, well, I guess we're done here then. We should just leave. Oh no, I would tell uh, Frendon, uh, sorry, Grenwolf, that we were done here as well, but I can't see him anywhere. He's <laughs> disappeared. No. Hmm. Smelly elf, where are you? Follow the vapor trails, I say, and then I take the cloak off off my head, and I'm like, what? What? Oh, we're leaving. He's feeding his cat greenies because all cats the love voice, greenies. The voice is talking. <laughs> did we, we can, did uh, we do the thing? Anyone? Yes, yes. We can get horses at the stable we found before and head back to town now. It feels so easy, aside from having to murder an entire platoon of well-trained and armed individuals. Okay, mm. I am going to transition to screen here. Uh, the names are going to be in the wrong place, but let's just go with it. At least we can see everybody. <clears throat> No, nope, no, we can't. You will in a second. It's got a six-second oh, okay. delay. Yeah. Oh, I'm Richard. This is a dev. Always, like, always yeah, waiting for like Patty. Fun duty again. I Sorry, was Richard. raised by dragons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just one dragon. Yep. So we we'll leave that. I don't want to futz with it, but at least we got the graphics up. Um. Yeah. So. Sorry, I had to go take a piss. What have we all been doing? <laughs> well let's see let's see if you can actually do something let's uh make a save versus spell at a minus two <laughs> welcome back yeah make a save versus spell uh, lunch was rough uh did you make it with a minus two uh, I put a minus two that shows it's a save yeah. wow it's okay a... so Wait. you and Patty are standing in front of these enormous brass doors that have the this you know this interwoven chain that's sealing it and all the cracks and crevices of this door have been sealed in with molten lead and uh lead and steel and uh, there are runes carved over it uh only you and patty seem to be able to approach the door although actually tristan hasn't tried yet uh talina and grown wolf 
just can't approach the door. Every time they try to, they get distracted by something. <laughs> Are they still in the area? They walk off. They're close by. Um, if you're if you're in roll twenty. Uh, you guys are in location uh, one, and right in front of the the double doors here. Okay. Everybody else is nearby. They just can't come up the steps to the front door. Do I? Do I since I passed, do I sense is there anything wrong, or there's like they're just being weird? You don't sense anything wrong. Uh, Patty will tell you that there's great magics on this door. <laughs> is that what's wrong with them? Hey, come on, Let's check this door out. We already, oh. I already looked at the door. The door is fine. The seals are good. They are magic. Check your uh, your mic, uh, Oak. Your little, your little soft. <clears throat> My gain's up. Okay. How about now. Yeah, it'll work. <laughs> test, test, check, test. Sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Around the corner of these two uh, double doors, there are, uh, to each side, are two minor doors of normal size. They don't have all the runes on them, but they have had the metal flow through the cracks as well, sealing them up. Uh, there, are there any windows? Has anybody checked around the perimeter to see if there's any? High up, there are some stained glass windows showing like profane acts being uh, <laughs> visited upon by demonic uh, creatures. Uh, those are the only glass windows you've seen. The rest of the structure has very small slit windows high up as well. The structure is like 50 feet tall. Uh, something was sealed. Does it look like it was sealed from outside? Yes. Mm. It's probably sealed for a good reason. Yep. Uh, I mean, Talina it was just a has told everybody, I mean, the reason she's here is to make sure that the seals are intact. Uh, so she kept Patty from uh, crossing off one of those symbols when he tried. <clears throat> Maybe he tried busting the door down? Nope. Well, we didn't want to open the thing. <laughs> Did we? We just had to check it. Our we job checked. is only to check the seals, off. make sure they're good, and then leave. Yeah, probably bad things in there, but think it may be treasure too. Well, we just mm. got oh, a bunch of treasure. Yeah, yeah, we did. Thousands and thousands of gold pieces. Oh, did we? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what was that, under it was the. In the uh, it's what the murdered people were looking, were guarding. And uh, I assume I finished finding out what the, was at the end of that passage. Yeah. Um, it's like a hunter's hut deep in the woods with uh, six. Oh, wait, and it was a barn. That's where we left off. And six horses in a barn that had been well cared for and just ready to go at a moment's notice. Uh, nothing else was there, though. Just the horses. So y'all want Still to ready to go. <laughs> you could saddle them up right in about 20 minutes and be out of here. We got a lot of, a lot of coin we can take off or. Maybe this, if they've got that much hidden, what do they think they've got hidden in here? They're trying to scare people off. With these well, nothing, symbols. because this is sealed up and has been for uh, however yeah. long since Talena's druid said. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't go in here. I don't think it's anything that the mortals have got in there. I mean, so look. it's fine. We should just go. So one of the conjectures, Oak, was that the people that you murdered might have been set here to watch and to make sure nobody got in. <laughs> yeah, we might have just helped them. <laughs> as it is we're burning daylight so we should go mm. I mean it's, it's the morning we're yeah fine. it's morning you guys slept through the we, night we just it's had morning. breakfast and you know we wandered around this place well so it's noon and then it's evening and we're still no, we, here so. Yeah. so do your do your bird friends still say that the uh, what, what were you saying the eaters are coming or what was it oh those are the, the folks that we took care of those uh, yeah. these people. Do we need to leave the eyes out for them. Oh, they, they, once you guys just threw the bodies out, they're they're going to town. <laughs> I mean, we left them on the inside yeah. as a blockade last night. Right. I'm curious why they've got this sealed up. You know, knowledge of this, Druid. 
this thing is. Do you remember what I had uh, told you about it, Jeff? Yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was a place uh, that was sealed up for great evil, and good sealed it up. And we were uh, our mission here was to come and check the seals, and we've done that. So now it's time to go. Okay, let's take off. Yeah, you were told that they couldn't destroy the edifice for whatever reason, uh, which might track with why it's still intact when they said that it wasn't. Maybe it regenerates itself or something. Mm. Uh, but instead, they were able to seal the evil inside. Yeah. And out of character, just for a second, uh, Oak, I am just playing the character because I oh, failed no. it. Dave. So I'm. No, that's fine. I was just talking about what knowledge we have. So. What is our bard friend doing during all of this? <laughs> uh, just hanging around, pretending like he, you know, didn't hide from all the murdering. <laughs> okay. Holding the crossbow confidently. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> he did get experience <laughs> from that fight. Yeah. Him and Rusty. Yeah, so, uh, you know what? Up to you, up to you guys. What you want to do here? Again, the seals seem to be intact, Talina. Um, There's no other as far doors as you anywhere can tell. around it. Say that again, Oak. There's no other doors anywhere around it. There the are. Uh, there, well, from, there are two doors on either right, side I mean here. Around anywhere else. Like no one's really explored. They just walk area. straight down this way and haven't really checked out the rest of the place. Let's yeah, there is a good the... pit over there towards the uh, towards the north. Let's oh. check all around. We'll see if there may be any secret around entrances. There. Yep. So why don't each of you go ahead and roll me a d6 if you're going to search individually? Nope. Uh, waiting on Richard, I think. Really? Did you roll a d6? No. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Well, actually, you did. You're the one that rolled. Well, you and uh, Patty. As far as you can tell, uh, walking around, the stone seems to be intact. There are no other entrances except from the front. The Most of the windows are at least eight feet above the ground floor, and they're far too small for a human being to pass through. Except for at the very front here where you saw the stained glass good 20 feet up. But they're intact. They're not shattered. Um, as far as if there might be an entrance 50 feet up on the roof, who knows? You can't see it. But from the outside, there are no other entrances. No, well, if only we had somebody who could communicate with flying things which could fly in through windows high up. Well, that last, like there's, there's nobody of, like that in the party. So there's a bunch of uh, I don't know those crenellations or buttresses or something sticking out. We should yep. be able to get a rope around those. And uh, they're gargoyles. Uh, they're very large, menacing, demonic gargoyles. Always just statuary. That's all. Yeah, that's all it is. Just statuary. <laughs> I mean, you can even see the holes in the mouth where the rainwater should flow through and keep the water from going directly at the ground, you know? Kind of pushes the water out further away. The I'm going to lasso one. Yeah. You're going to lasso one? Out. Yeah. How much rope do you have? 50 foot. <laughs> just, <laughs> just enough. Well, the gargoyles are, are a little less than all the way up. Um, sure, uh, you can eventually... W which side of the building? Can you ping me where you want to do it? Uh, let's do that. that one right there. Okay. It's a particularly squattish looking one that seems to be missing some of its teeth. Uh, sure, you rope it. You want to climb that rope? Yeah, well, I'm going to test it, make sure it's not going to, like, it's old and crumbly and it's going to fall apart. What's your con? 16. And what's your strength? 16. <coughs> okay, so you're probably over 200 pounds. You give it a good pull. Uh, it seems stable enough. It doesn't shift. It doesn't move. Yeah, this is pretty stable here. You want to try this, Tristan? You're lighter and a little bit more nimble than me. I can hold it steady on the bottom. 
All right, what am I looking for? Just a way in? Way in, or if there's anything interesting? All right, okay. I'll take a look. Okay. Uh, you don't I have would to assume I've given you your short sword back. Have you got my short sword? What? I, I did, last time I had it, and I told you to I messaged in chat to pick up my uh, shield and spear, so we'll trade back. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. All right. All right, so you want to climb it? Yeah. All right. Are right, you visible or door. invisible? Um, I'll be visible because, I mean, okay. a shaking rope going up there. I think that's All right. Uh, so you scale it, and you pass by several of these very narrow windows and look inside. It seems the structure, uh, at least where you're looking at right now, only has one floor, but it has very tall uh, ceiling. Uh, just like a, just this gabled, large open spaces. You can see a number of very oddly colored columns. That's, uh, I tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and reveal the inside because there's nothing really that's going to take away from anything here. Uh, well, you can't see inside the room, so I'll just do the main building. Uh -oh. Wow, there's a lot of pillars and stuff in there. There are a lot of pillars in there, and uh, they're very odd. They seem to be made of a, a purplish, or no, excuse me, a pink stone that has, like, green veins running through it. Just looking at them makes you feel just dirty i like like it, they just have a feeling of profaneness to you just looking at them uh, there's a lot of pillars in there that yeah. make me feel like i'm looking at grown wolf <laughs> yeah, exactly so uh what do you what you're saying is there are large cylindrical structures <laughs> of a Vain. phallic nature that are making you feel funny and when you do your first thought is to think of me, and then I just put my cloak invisible. <laughs> yes, there are enormous pink shafts rising from the ground. Um, with green throbbing veins. Yeah, with green throbbing veins, exactly. Uh, here, there's a oval altar, um, and it looks a little strange. You're, you're getting a view from pretty high up looking down in it, but it is a recessed area that's vaguely in, in a humanoid shape, two arms uh, outspread, two legs, and it's recessed or inset, uh, inset into the altar top, like you could lay a body in it. And you do see bleeder troughs coming off of it. So it definitely appears to be a sacrificial altar. There's also uh, a pit, which you can't really see down into over here amongst these pillars. Oh, and, I mean, go ahead. No, we'll be reporting this to everybody as we're going along. You're just going to shout it down, see. yell yeah. down at everybody. Why not? And while I'm doing that, I mean, I will see if any, if like anything inside moves around. To, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of shadow because you're only getting light in from all these very thin windows, mm -hmm. but it's enough to illuminate large swaths of things. But there are areas that are in deep shadow. The only other thing of interest is up on this, uh, up on these short you know, like a hemisphere steps going up. There is a large stone throne at the very apex, uh, rising several feet up to it. And there seems to be just below it. Um, let's see, give me just a second. There seems to be some words carved around where the throne is it's hard to make it out from where you are um it's in common you can make out a few words like red uh the word red the word white you can't make it all out from where you are though and Something as you kind of make the you know the apex of the rope as far up as you can go uh make me first a d6 roll I'm surprised if something happens. Maybe three. Okay, you are not surprised. Uh, you see the rope got lassoed like around the snout of the gargoyle. The gargoyle's mouth is open, so it's kind of like the rope is hanging in the middle. And you see it chomp. It, it <laughs> chomps the All rope. Right. 
Uh, so make me a dex check. If you if you succeed, you'll be able to cling to a you can swing and cling to a wall. Otherwise, you're going to drop forty feet. Oh boy, I'm glad I took those ranks in Buccaneer for swinging. Yeah, that's a very low success. Okay, you manage to swing, and uh, just as the rope is cut, you grab on to <clears throat> the stonework, and you're holding on. So you know, you're 40 feet in the air, gripping the sides of this stone edifice. You know, you're looking through into still one of the slots. You might even get a handhold in there to get yourself braced. But other than just the small move to just to grip and bite the rope, it doesn't move any further. Well, time to make my way down. <laughs> Can we tell what happened from, I mean, the rope comes falling down. I mean, down. I will shout. The, yeah, there you ah! go. Grab hold of the thing. And it's like, yeah, like they're alive. It break. Uh, it looks like it was cut. Uh, like you see the frayed ends. All right, to get down safely, this is where you can make a climbing check to climb sheer surfaces. Uh, climb walls. Yep. I have, I, there's a possibility of failure. I have only a 98 in it. I get ready to catch them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, I was right below them. I was going to try. Yeah, you're <laughs> able to scale down easily enough. Just fall. Uh, but from where you had a vantage point up there along the wall, you weren't able to get up onto the roof all the way because the gargoyle is below the roof. Uh, but everything looks intact. Uh, the inside of the place, we didn't see anything moving around, but there were areas in deep shadow. If I was to like think back on that and see about the areas that were in deep shadow, was there an area that wasn't in deep shadow that, that would like correspond to a hole in the roof? Oh, nice. Uh, no. All the light you saw were these slants of beams coming okay. in. All coming from there. That's great. All right. I mean, yeah. Looks pretty intact. Don't so, mind those goggles. I see you do this, Tristan. I'm speaking to you. I see <clears> you do this, and I'm still feeling, I don't know, a little funny. Why are we trying to still get it? I thought the seals were good. What's going on? Yeah, I don't know. It just seemed interesting to look inside. It seems all do, right. Do we think that there's plunder inside? I didn't see any. I mean, there was a pit. They but could you, be in the pit. You did not see any, though. Well, I mean, true. I mean, if we really wanted to, I mean, I guess the lead the, around the doors would be worth quite a bit as well if we melted it down and sold it on. Melting things, you say? I, I can do that. Or was it I, silver? Uh, lead and iron. <clears throat> Patty's just gonna kind of loom over Tristan and Grimwolf for a moment and just be like, I think we need to leave. <laughs> I, I'm confused as well, Patty. I don't want to go in here. It makes me feel bad. Ooh, but usually if you feel bad, there's something, some magical reason that you feel bad. And I do like magic. I now I kind of want to go in go more. In. Mm. Just kind of shakes his head. I will not go in. But we weren't mm. sent here to go in. We were sent here to examine and yeah. report back. What if I have a solution? What if I summon some monsters to go in and then technically <laughs> we're not going in. It's the monsters that are going. <coughs> Can you just walk summon away? up small enough monsters to fit yeah. through those whole, no. the windows? Were you hired by someone else? Because the dude that wanted us to help... Uh, do all this stuff. He died. The druids, as yeah, the who, druid uh, circle sent him here or her. Here. Okay, I say because the dude that I hired on with, and he's Tosa. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. Uh. Literally toast, and some some of his men at least. Um, I'm going to do something very stupid, and I'm going to summon monsters to well, see I if we can. <laughs> okay, uh, I will point out to Talina uh, though that it's the place isn't like completely sealed off like those open windows where you know a person couldn't fit through i mean you see birds perched on them so things come in and out of there just not you know full-sized humans <laughs> i'm all for it but i can't i mean until the spell wears yeah off, i'm yeah. just you can't you, know. you can't approach the front you can't affro approach the front door uh, and you still feel like you can't like every time you try to something distracts you and you wander off
All right, so you want to cast Monster Summoning. Yeah, uh, what's, think... the, what's the smallest creature on your list? Uh, mm, it's probably a toss-up toss up between Goblin and Kobold, probably. Okay, either one of those could fit. Okay. Well, let's see if I get Goblin three in a row. Let's let's see. Oh, I'm saying you can just pick. I mean, we'll, oh, we'll, okay. just, we'll just wave it and you tell me what you're summoning. Honestly, at this point, Bird, I just feel like Goblin is my spirit animal. Um, <laughs> tell me how many you summon. All right, two to eight. And, and uh, does so... it give you any degree of control over them? It does. It says they're, they'll basically, like, as long as I'm not asking them something entirely unreasonable, <laughs> right, they'll do it, right, I think. Perfect, Let me double perfect. check. Uh, the monsters will fight on my behalf, attacking uh, whatever foes I direct, guarding or him or her for anything more complex. I need to speak their language, and I do okay. speak goblins. Just so. tell me how many you summon. Eight again. <laughs> All right. Uh, the frat boy equivalent of goblins show up. Uh, just They just come over the walls, out of the forest. Uh, it takes some time, I know, for it to happen. but So they, they come out. They're like, hey, what's up? So, fellas, do you see the charred remains of our buddies over there? I think that something behind this door had something to do with it. And if I'm going to get in there and avenge our kin, look at me, I'm green. I'm just a big goblin, obviously. Um, if I'm going to avenge our kid, you need to get inside and let me know what's going yeah, on. Yes, he's very shady, but we're just drunk enough to do it anyway. Why don't we get in? <laughs> and I point to the little areas that were discovered. <laughs> Right, so there's eight of them, so they do the thing where they stand on each other's shoulders until the top one's tall enough to climb in through a window. All <laughs> uh, right, so they go inside. Um, how long are they summoned for? Uh, let's see. Uh, they appear within 1d4 rounds, and it actually says uh, two rounds plus one per level, so that's uh, three times seven worth of uh, okay. goblin rounds yeah well, i'll tell you what so after a bit uh they start coming back out of the the hole in the window and there ain't nothing in there there's a couple of locked rooms uh nothing to do any vengeance upon we're starting Aww. to get less drunk and want to go home and get more drunk there's a big old pit in the middle though goes down goes way down it's too mm. much work well tell you what before you sober <laughs> up too much i mean go home was there any way to let us in from the other side? Uh, it's all sealed up pretty tight. Kind of similar to the outside, then. Okay, well, thank you for the reconnaissance, and I tell you what. If I find, once I get in here, whatever killed our friends, I'll take care of it. But you get home safe, it's very important. Nothing in there but a bunch of bird crap. A bunch of pink, throbbing pillars. Yeah, I know. I have one party member who's really weirdly obsessed with them. I don't. I don't get the obsession with pink specifically either. It's weird, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have that in common then. We both agree on that. Thank you for taking a look. Um, get home safe. I'll call you all some again sometime later if I find out who did this. They just go over and they loot the corpses of their friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I know they don't care as well, but it's like we both have, like, there's a tacit agreement that this is all bullshit, basically. <laughs> they didn't look at you and they shrug. He owed me money. Yeah. You know what? If you can get any value out of them, it's about what I got out of them. So go ahead. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So they didn't trigger anything. So there's nothing in there and they couldn't couldn't find any other doors. They did say they were some locked rooms, though. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, as far as plunder goes, I mean, seals aside, I, I'm kind of intrigued. There's a big pit. There's locked doors. Are we, do we, how's everybody feeling? Anybody else, let's say, so greedy as to be able to push past this feeling that we've created our quest? <laughs> we finished our quest. Yeah, I'm always down to clown. Hmm. If I can get past this feeling, I'd be good, but... Hmm. I think we should just head back yep. and get the reward. So, Talina, I mean, you can think about it. It's just anytime you try to approach it, you just get distracted. It doesn't keep you from, you know, strategizing so, about it. <laughs> so, at my current, at our current distance, more, standing, right? yeah. Say that again. 
It's just the front door. It's just the front door. Okay. Well, then maybe. Uh... But yeah, I see that. I see what he's saying about the uh, windows, and that that doesn't look sealed to me. So. I mean, are they going to pay you for telling them about the seals and the building, etc.? Because I mean, we could just go back, get paid for that, and then come back. Here. You're getting paid oh. in a good deed. Well no. done. <laughs> payment so to speak we're just i'm doing my duty but well you know what i mean why not we've made sure that you know your duty has been fulfilled why not see if we could wet our beaks a little at the same time it's kind of our way isn't it everybody i don't know well they knew what they were getting into i warned them about you so (laughs) (laughs) i I like your i like your line of thinking talina talina um, I mean, the place is obviously not, you know, sealed against intruders as things can come and go from those windows easily enough. Yeah. If we sleep on it, I could levitate us up there or use a floating disc, but I, I didn't prepare those today. Yeah. Uh, what's Talina's wisdom? Talina's wisdom is 18. Oh, geez. So the magical seal could be just keeping a particular thing inside. So like, like breaching the, like, even if you were to like, for instance, knock a hole in a wall and go in, may not break the seal at all. Just the seal being intact may keep whatever's in there in there. Yeah. I myself was thinking it might be a different seal. Could be. Like it's been resealed by the enemy with all, you know, to all intent purposes, (laughs) an intact seal. That's not, it's already been, it's just a facade. Or a, I'm sorry, fake aid. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, if we can uh, go around the other way, I guess I'll, I'm get, you know, get my mind off of that door. Yep. Yeah, so, folks seem to or be on board. How do you want to get in? Did I, uh, did I have a chance to try even attempting my shrink spell before I lost uh, before I lost the will or the interest? As soon as you focus on the door, uh, you have to be so close to cast the spell that you see okay. the sigils. Okay. Yeah. So it's the same for you. You just cannot approach that door. Okay. <clears throat> you can approach hmm. anything else just fine. Just You just can't approach that door without just your mind wandering. Okay. Well, those uh, stained glass windows are big enough. We just once we get through there, look yeah. for a, a good palm-sized rock. Look, uh, keep your eyes on those uh, gargles up there, just in case. And I'll chunk a rock through the stained glass. Yeah, yeah it shatters. Okay. No sound, no nothing's happening. I mean, other than the sound of shattering glass, uh, but it doesn't. Yeah, it nothing reacts to it. Okay, who's good at throwing ropes and things? Well, now, in the uh, building where we fought all the guys, do mm-hmm. they have any, like, ladders or other kind of climbing equipment or anything like that? that Not we at all. Use? Yeah. Not even rope. I mean, there was the brass ladder, but I think that's firmly attached to the wall. Yeah. What if we stack 24 bodies and make a <laughs> stair step? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We use them as a barricade. Why not as furniture? Make a limb ladder. <laughs> if we start to fall, we could yell limber. Oh, minus twenty reroll. <laughs> I'm good for those. Yeah. So, are, did we detect magic on the side doors? Uh, uh, no, there are I don't, no seals there. Yeah, yeah. there's no seals so. there, but no, uh, as well. No, Patty hadn't uh, really focused on them. On the metal seal, but there's it's closed and welded together right but there's no uh there's no symbols on them that and they're just wood doors i mean they're a very thick sturdy door or wood but they're just wood doors are they sealed with metal yes rusty (laughs) all right (laughs) yeah uh so if you want uh your rust monster which door do you want to breach left or right Let's go left. 
All right. So, yeah, you bring Rusty up to take a snack. Uh, and it does. It dissolves the, the metal that has been flowed through the cracks of the door. And uh, after a few minutes, uh, it's all gone. The door is still closed, but all this, you know, the ceiling material is all gone. Okay. Well, I'll get him back because he did his job. Mm -hmm. Get him out of the way. I'll leave him with Luke. Uh, Lucas and... Uh, all right. Well, um, I will go uh, open the door. Okay. Uh, it's it's <clears throat> just from time and weathering, it's kind of stuck in the sill, but you're able to give it a good tug and you're able to wrench the door open. Uh, so, yeah, there you are. So what you're seeing here, and with the shattered stained glass window uh, bringing in more light now, you see that the floor here is kind of a reddish-brown slate-like stone. Each of the uh, slates are about two feet square. And the walls in here are plastered and painted with all kinds of scenes uh, just of disgusting acts, killing, torture, robbery, thievery, all kinds of sins being displayed on here. You couldn't see these very well from where you were, <clears throat> um, Tristan, uh, just because of the distance up you were. You couldn't really tell what was on the walls. But yeah, the, the walls are just splashed with these murals of just profanity. Okay, well... I look at the guys and, uh, shall we go in? Uh, yeah. How does you've everybody... you opened it now, so... Yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, Tristan. I was just going to say, you've opened it now. There's no reason <coughs> not to, I guess. Um, how does everybody feel about me being mostly invisible all the time? And Tristan, is that your default now that you have your invisibility? Not always, no. Okay, Just I'm good. We think it's going to get dangerous. Like now, he said, so, disappearing. Right, so uh, to, to Thibor, who wasn't in the room when we found it, I found a cloak that lets me be invisible. Um, nice. And so I've got that on. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing so the party knows where I am from now on is just letting the cat sit on my shoulder. <laughs> so so it's just going to look like a there's floating a floating cat. tabby cat. Yeah. Right. So you're not like invisible, invisible, but you right. just kind of blend with your surroundings. Um what is kind of like a predator shimmer kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So like you're, uh, uh, well, you're indoors now actually. So it actually doesn't do much for you in indoors. Uh, okay. It, it does. It's so outdoors it's... and underground that it helps you. Okay. So it's elven kind, not uh, invisibility. Correct. correct. Yeah. Yeah. What about the shadow part? The wooden, the shadow part. Uh, did I not un? Which, which, what are you? What are you talking about? For the elven cloak, I was thinking the shadows. Uh, you know, no, actually, it, it just works outdoors area. and underground are the only two places that it works. Okay. So there's no benefit from being in shadows. Okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of like the predator thing, like where it yeah it, it's able to blend with the environment, but it has to be a natural environment. Okay. Remember Frodo and the Rock? And Frodo? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was an elven look. It really was. <laughs> yeah. I'll unsheathe the two hander and I'll head in. All right, so you're going to lead the party. So the central pillar, uh, this is three. So again, there are these pillars just, and, and they all give you an uneasy feeling. Just the coloration of the stone is just odd. Just this off pink and it's shot through with these veins of green that run through it. And you just, there's just something about them that doesn't seem right. See, see, grown wolf. What did I tell you? <laughs> just look at them. And, oh. I feel at home. Two coppers to lick it. Yep. Oh. Uh, so, yes. Uh, I pinged the wrong place when I was telling you about the different things, Tristan. So right here at three is actually the oblong altar, the oval altar that has the recessed uh, hollow where it looks like a, oh, okay. yeah, All right. a humanoid can be dropped in and there's a bloodletting furrows leading off from it. Uh, and again, the depression is stained a darker color, you know, old dried blood. Um, you know, I'm not sure what color blood is of everybody here. Yep. I mean, that would be an interesting time to find out. <clears throat> so the, there's a You've depression. Seen most of ours. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So there's a depression just next to it, which is the hole. Uh, it's stained a dark color as well. Uh, this It's a marble-lined pit, and there's all kinds of shattered glass or crystal around it. It's, it's huge. It's like 20 feet in diameter. Um, laying on top of like one of the edge gives you an idea of what the crystal might be, as there's a crystal knife with the, the blade shattered laying on the very edge. Who wants to be sacrificed? <laughs> oh, I I don't. <laughs> I didn't think so. Yeah, that's fine. Are there any placement of demons like there would be saints in a in a cathedral? Not really. You just have this huge altar uh, to bleed out a sacrifice, and then this this pit next to it. Um, if anybody wants to want to examine the pit, it just goes down. It's just a black hole. But you notice that. Uh, there's like a 15 foot drop from the top and there's like a ledge and you can see the ledge kind of spiral down. So at one point, maybe there was a ladder that hung over this so that you could get to that ledge. Um, and it just keeps, you know, you can't see the bottom of it. Is there any kind of like bones or bucket on the side we can accidentally bump and knock down into it? Well, there's, there's shards the of crystal or, or glass all over the place. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to, you can just push some of that over in. I grab one of the goblin corpses yeah. from outside, <laughs> light it on fire, and throw it down. Pool of a tuck. <laughs> so like legitimately. I mean, it's a like, charcoal goblin. It's already been burned once, so this would be the second burning. So yeah. it burns brighter <laughs> this fair. time. Okay. <clears throat> uh, do you do that? Yeah, I wanna I wanna get some light down there, and they're flammable, organic, and okay. when it yeah, you yeah. light up a goblin corpse and toss it down, uh, and quickly it drops out of view. You can't see it. You can't see it hit the bottom. You don't see any light. Do I hear something after a little while? Uh, roll me a d six. Okay. Two. Two. Okay. What's your intelligence? Uh, Sixteen. Okay. Um, it's a it, it's a bit before you hit it. You hear it hit. Uh, you do some quick math in your head. Eighty to ninety feet deep. Oh, it's it's pretty deep, fellas, and late. I have a fifty foot rope. <laughs> I have one too. Time together. We don't need to go down that far, isn't there? The spirally thing. There is. Yep. Oh. So you know small, what? It's a it's a, a but a small fifteen foot drop to the spiral uh, ledge. What if fifty foot rope? What if we tie two ropes together for insurance in case this ledge gives way, and we <laughs> hold on to the rope while we get to the ledge? Let's okay. check everything else out up here before we just stand sure and sure sure in behind us. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had a funny funny glimpse on one of uh, Grown Wolf's last missions into a. Uh, a more modern time where he's reading a book on physics. It's like, so if a goblin weighs this much and the, the air drag is this much and... Uh... Oh, but wait, he's been turned into charcoal and there's a carbon cross... Oh, no, I can't do this. <laughs> up that phone he stole. Yeah. I mean, that oh, no, I, that... I chucked that thing a long time ago. A calculator. That assumes that gravity there is the same as it was on the place where he was reading about. So, Terminal uh, velocity on a goblin is... <laughs> All right. So where do you want to go? So you do see the doors uh, to the left and right there. So on either side. And yeah. six. Presumably there's a yep. door sort of thing as well. Let's just... Up here. There's another one right there. Let's yes. start at four and move around to five, six, seven. Okay, start at four. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. So four is another small altar. Um, again, another circular uh, step-up area, <clears throat> 20 feet uh, diameter in the center. Um, there is no big hole in this one, though. It's just basically a tiered step-up. Uh, there is some scummed-over black liquid uh, just kind of coating the top of this, though. There's also a couple of broken knives around. They seem to be made of bronze. Hmm. Are they similar in design to the crystal ones? That are they are, but they're made of metal, of bronze instead of yeah. crystal. 
Is that the area that's blacked out behind number four there? Yeah, there's a door or is there. That like a door? Uh, no, this is this is just four, and then there's a door okay. here. So you haven't opened the door yet. Hmm. I don't Put think my... we'll mess with any of the stuff till we check everything out good. Okay. Okay. So do you want to open that door? You want to check it, Tristan? Uh, if you want, you I think it's trapped? Sure, I'll look it over first. Yeah, I don't trust anything in here. You are in here. <laughs> are you saying we should not trust well, you? I don't trust, I don't trust anything in here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I look over the door. Is it trapped? Uh, go ahead and give me a roll. Yeah. Let's find out. I find or remove any traps successfully. Okay. Uh, in which case, no, it is just fine, and I'm just trying to reveal the area, but it looks like it hit it. <laughs> oh, You've no, more the area got covered. Yeah. So this looks like it was uh, like a vestuary room uh, where there were wardrobes with uh, robes, uh, but it looks like there was a struggle in here. Some of the robes are scorched. The robes are also kind of a moss green color. Uh, color. One of the cabinets or one of the wardrobes had been kicked over and bashed open, and it looks like... There's a set of stairs that were hidden behind it, uh, leading down. Everything goes down. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it definitely looks like there was a struggle of some sort in this room. Mm -hmm. Some time ago, uh, dust has covered everything. This was not recent. Do any? Do are there wear patterns in any of the stone? Like, like, does it look like? Does it look like there's foot traffic going a specific way? Like anything like that? Not recent. The dust is really well covering everything. Uh, so okay. nothing's passed through here recently. Uh, but yes, <clears throat> underneath the wardrobe, like you do see scratches in the stone where the wardrobe would, would be moved quite frequently. Uh, but it seems like the last person to use it just bashed the thing down. Okay. It also looks like it was bashed down from the inside, like it was kicked away from the wall. So, like, somebody coming up from the stairs, like, just kicked it in. Uh, there are still some robes uh, around that are intact. Sure, Moss green. Got They've got a black in satin or... internal. Uh, they do have lots of pockets. Yeah. Uh, nothing. They're, they're empty. Uh, but yeah, an awful lot of pockets for a simple robe. You know, it might come in handy if we need to like blend in at some point, depending on what's going on around here. Do you think we should throw these in the bag of holding? <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Okay. Yeah. Is there a maximum capacity for the bag of holding? Um, sorta, but you're nowhere near. Oh, okay. yeah. Let's just toss everything yeah. in that we find, then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> including bodies. Who knows what you'll need those? Big a pillar. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, we're at uh, we're a little bit over time, guys. We started a little late, so uh, that's all fun and good there. Let's go ahead and end it here for the night. <clears throat> um, Dion, what do you got going on this week? Uh, I'm not sure. I streamed today. Just got back from vacation, like I said earlier. Um, going back to work tomorrow, and uh, uh, let's see. Friday, I got stream with you. On um, Saturday, I have Full Show Mart's Happiest Apocalypse on Earth. Sunday, I think I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm going to be in Shadowrun this Sunday. And I think Monday is Featherfall. And Tuesday is with you again. So, yeah, I'm, I'm busy. Cool. And uh, Frendin, although it looks Hi. like... Hi. Yep. Uh, so, most days of the week, I stream tabletop art on Twitch. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, I'm in both those games with Dion on Featherfall and here. And aside from that, I uh, just want to say thanks, everybody, for having me. This is always fun, and uh, here to see what dumb shit we get up to next week. <laughs> Richard, what do you got going on? Uh, it's the spooky season. If you hear a ghost going, boo, maybe they're not trying to scare you. Maybe they just hate you. And if you hate things, why, why not come and hate things on my channel where I play video games? almost... Well, every single day, uh, you can find me at LMTDTMFFR here on Twitch. Or, say it with me now, limited, limited time, time off. off. Time off for no bells. <laughs> yes, uh, in sync we are not. Uh, Oak, what do you got going on? 
Hey, uh, sorry for being super late tonight, but uh, catch me here on Tuesdays, most Tuesdays at least. Uh, Friday and Saturday nights, starting midnight central on Twitch. Uh, catch me at Urians, U R A E N C E, play some 5e, and I run 5e on 5e, except this week we're starting a new campaign with a new DM, and we're going to alternate weekends. So, new stuff. Fun. And Jeff, your drive through link is on there. Yeah. Uh, I am uh, expectantly waiting for Dicey Tales to come back from the uh, folks that are in charge of it right now. And That would be me! <laughs> and, yeah. and once that happens, uh, closer and closer to the release date. And uh, other than that, this is my game of the week. Fun stuff. I will have to run like a, a story arc or one shot with it once we've got it all hammered out, and uh, you will you will enjoy what the Dicey Tales uh, game is. And of course, if you found the channel, we're at twitch.tv slash Steam Steel Murder. Check out the podcast at Blue Magic, B L U M A G I K dot com. Uh, hey, we're even on YouTube. That's where everything eventually gets backlogged off the Twitch channel. So fun stuff there, guys. We are. We're basically at the door to the mega dungeon that is the Temple of Elemental Evil. The door has yet to be kicked in entirely, but we're at the door. So we will uh, we'll see how things progress next time. Uh, thanks for playing, guys. And uh, thanks, everybody out there, for watching. Goodbye, uh, good night, everybody. Bye.